the discussion about Pentecost that I started before. And today, I've got somebody with me, the social media coordinator, Tess, from our church. Hi. And she has some questions about Pentecost that she'd like to kind of go over with me. Absolutely. In the media, there are so many questions about Pentecost. What is Pentecost? Why there are different languages all of a sudden? What kind of a gift is that and why? What is the purpose of that gift? Well, the Pentecost, as it's described in the book of Acts, is a really dramatic event. And the disciples were together and tongues of flame came upon them and then they were able to speak in other languages so that the people around them could understand. And I think that was kind of the point of it, that that God's love was going out to all people. It wasn't just for the people in the Jewish community, it was for the entire world. I see. So that was part of what was going on. Uh, but what kind of message uh, did they say in different languages on that day, on that morning? Well, it's interesting. The, the book of Acts doesn't say exactly what they said, but it says they were praising God. And then people from all over the world who were there for the festival could hear them in their own language. And so it's almost, a, it's a double miracle of hearing and of speaking. So they could speak in other languages and other people from all over the place could understand that they were praising God and that's what the other people could hear them doing. The gift of tongues is one of the spiritual gifts that Paul talks about in the New Testament. And to me, that's a prayer gift for mostly personal prayer. And, and Paul says it shouldn't be used in public unless there's somebody to interpret. And there's another gift called interpretation where somebody can hear someone speaking in tongues and then say, tell what they were saying. But for the most part, it's a gift to use in personal prayer. But it's a language that the person doesn't themselves doesn't know. And, and it could be a, a, a heavenly language. Uh, very rarely is it another like you know, speaking in Italian or something. But does that make sense? Yeah, that it, it does actually, and it's very interesting. As a linguist, I don't understand when people speak in town that no one can interpret. Yeah. Then uh, it just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, it's kind of like singing because you're also a musician. That when you sing, you don't. If you're humming a tune, you maybe you don't know what the tune is, but it still is meaningful, and it's and sometimes can be a way of praying. That praying in tongues is a way to pray, but without using your mind. It's almost a meditative form of prayer. Oh, I and letting see. God speak through you, through God's Spirit, and it doesn't really matter if you or anyone else can understand it, but it's a sense of being in God's presence and, and being open to God's Spirit as you do that. Oh, well, now it does make sense to me. Thank you so much for your clarification. And we want to just make sure, before we close, that at St. George's in Carmichael, we're having a Pentecost service on... Uh, Sunday, what is the date? Uh, 28th. Sunday the 28th of May at 10 a.m. And you're invited to come. And we'll be having the gospel read in multiple languages as a sign of God's word going out to all people. And then we're having a barbecue at noon afterwards. So uh, do keep that in mind and come join us if you can.